Do you know that this isn't where the event horizon is? It's called the ISCO, the Innermost Stable Circular Orbit. And whether you like it or not, you're about to learn something. In everyday physics described by Newton, gravitational two-body orbits are always stable, even if you knock them around a bit. In fact, this is a direct consequence of Bertrand's theorem and that Newtonian gravity gets weaker with the square of the distance. And while Newtonian gravity is a good approximation to Einstein's general relativity at large distances, when you're too close to the gravitational source, that goes out the window. Now, for most commonplace gravitational situations, this isn't a big deal, because you typically can't get close enough to the gravitational source for this to be relevant. The source of the gravity is usually too large. However, black holes are so small that orbiting bodies can get close enough, to the point where the departure from Newtonian gravity is significant. A full relativistic treatment of the orbital motion around a black hole leads to a description of the motion that is essentially the same as Newton's, except the potential energy is modified slightly. In some sense, this modification is directly attributable to the curvature of space, as Newtonian gravity can be viewed as arising from the geometric theory of gravity where only time curves. By the way, this is called Newton-Carton gravity, and it's really cool. Let me know in the comments if you want to hear more. So the potential energy in general relativity gets an additional term, one that when the orbiting body is sufficiently close makes the potential energy decrease rapidly at smaller and smaller distances. Much like a ball rolling down a hill, this means that falling in is inevitable if you're close enough. So already, there are distances at which there's no orbits at all, let alone stable ones. Now, stable orbits occur when there's a local minimum in the potential energy. For Newtonian orbits, there's always a minimum because the potential energy increases without bound as the orbiting body gets closer, but not for Einsteinian ones. In that case, as your angular momentum decreases and you try to stably orbit closer and closer, eventually, the distance at which stable orbits occur overlaps with the unstable orbits. This is the smallest distance at which an object can stably orbit, the ISCO. Any closer, and all orbits are unstable, even the smallest perturbations and your orbit changes. Now, for a non-rotating black hole, this minimum distance is three times the radius of the event horizon. For a rotating black hole, that distance depends on the rate of rotation getting closer to the event horizon as the rotation rate of the black hole approaches the maximal speed. In either case, we don't expect to see any matter orbiting around the black hole at a distance smaller than the ISCO, and so we can infer that this is the inner radius of the accretion disk, not the event horizon. And now you know. That wasn't so bad, was it?